Father, we glorify you. We adore you. We give you all the praise, all the honor, all the adorations in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Libranda baso katende libranda kete. Kaswanda labrosi anda kate katende libranda ya. We soak this broadcast in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I soak it of everyone in the blood of Jesus. He is worthy of our praise. He is Elion. He is Adonai. Forever your word is setting, O Lord. Forever your word is setting in our life by the power in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Libra and Akasekete in the Labron Dakata. I worship you. I give you all the praise, O Lord. All the honor, O Lord. He la branda kaso katan de le brende brosi anda dakata. Kesonda la brando koton de le brosi anda kate nde de. Kesianda la kaso ye le brando koton de le branda kata. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For your power, for your grace upon our life. We magnify you. We adore you. We give you all the praise, all the honor, all the adorations in the mighty name of Jesus. Libren de bolsianda la katan de lebran da kata o ye lebron sianda kata. All that we want to say this morning is thank you, thank you for your wonder working power in our life, for your grace. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. We bow before your throne this morning. We sing hallelujah to you, Lord of Lord. We praise your holy name. You are worthy. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. There is no one like you. Abba, Father, I come before your throne of grace this morning. I ask forgiveness of my sins. Father, let your mercy prevail over our life. We ask for mercy. Let your mercy prevail. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you for sending your only begotten Son to die for remission of our sin. Father, we repent from our iniquity. Purify us, says, O Lord. Purify us from our iniquity by the power in the name of Jesus. All that we want to say this morning is thank you. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, Libra and Dabak also cut in the lady brown decade because you are worthy of our praise. You are wonderful. You are mighty God. You are our Prince of Peace. You are the Lord of Lords, ancients of days. I am that I am. There is no one like you. We praise you, ye Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We magnify you, O Lord. Libra and Debosi and the Lakatan, the lady brain, the Koto Yele, Kasuan, the lady brain, the Katan, the Lebra Kaye. Spirit of living God, I invite you to take absolute control over today's broadcast by the power in the name of Jesus. I step aside as a flesh. My flesh become ashes. Ashes that will carry your presence, will carry your power by the power in the name name of Jesus. Father, speak through me, O oh Lord. Speak through me, O oh Lord. As your word come from this morning, let there be breakthrough. Let there be deliverance. Let there be power that will change hand by the power in the name of Jesus. We call upon you a chance of death. We call upon you, I am that I am. We call upon you, our protector, our deliverer, our healer. Hey, Lebron, the Ketsoka, yeah, Lebron, the Kete. Lebron, the Kosu, yeah, Lebron, Sianda Kata. Thank you for your wonder working power in our life. For your grace, oh Lord. We say thank you, oh Lord. Thank you, oh Lord. Thank you, oh Lord. Father, Lebron, Kaye, Lebron, so Kate, in the day. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. I magnify you, I adore you. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Libren de bossi and the lebron kaye le de 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 ba kaya kasa kata. Libren de kete and the lebron si and the keto ye lebron da kata. We worship you. You are our cornerstone. 
You are our counselor. You are our provider. Our creator. Our restorer. We worship you. Oh. Lebra ka yele bosu kete nde lebrende kete onde yela keso nde lebrenda katari keso yele bosu kete nde lede. All that we want to say is thank you, thank you, Jesus. Father, we ask for mercy, O Lord. Mercy, let your mercy prevail. By the power in the name of Jesus, we worship you, I am Gataya. We worship you, ancients of death. I worship you, my blessed Redeemer. Oh, you alone are worthy of our praise. You alone are great, O Lord. Father, Lebros, Yanda Katsuria. You are the potter, we are the clay. Mold us in your own ways, O Lord. Direct us in the path that we are lost. Direct us in the path of righteousness. By the power in the name of Jesus. You are our fortress. You are our refuge in the time of trouble. We praise you, we magnify you. You are at our right hand. Oh, we will not be moved. As you are our right hand, we shall not be moved. By the power in the name of Jesus. You are victorious in your holiness. You are powerful. You are great, O oh Lord. We use our voice. We use our mouth. We use our heart just to worship you. Just to adore you. Receive our praise, O oh Lord. Libre Ya bros, okay, ye le bros, ye and akaton, the little bros, yeah. Father, let your spirit move in this broadcast. Let your spirit move in our midst, oh Lord, by the power in the name of Jesus. Hey, le bros, ye and I, I invite angels to take their position right now. Hey, le bros, kete, in the le bros, kete. We come in power. We come in your power. Hey, le bros, ye and that you've got your water that you have. Give us power to trample over serpent and scorpions. Hele Rossi and Dakatakata. We stand in that authority. We stand in the authority of the rock of ages. The I am that I am the omnipotent, omnipresent, the first and the last. Hele Rossi, Kayele Rossi, Katandada. Let the fire of God fall in our midst this morning by the power in the name of Jesus. Let there be revival. Revival to be on fire for you. Hey, our fire will never quench ever again. By the power in the name of Jesus. Libre de boko sukata and the le de bron dakata. Hey, le bron suke ye le bron si and dakata. Let your presence, Father, we are feeling your presence already in our midst. Let your presence continue to move. He keton di a le bron si and dekte. He kasan ka ye le. Libre de keka ye ba shakata and the le de bron. Kon da le de bron. Sukete, Libron de Casucate, the Lebro, Kensaka, ye Lebro Sukate, in the Rebro, Swan de Lebro, Kaya Lebro Sukate, he can the Lede, 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 the the Lede, the Lede, the Lede, the the Lede, the Lede, the the Lede, the 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 you alone are worthy of our praise. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your presence in our midst. Oh, yes, Lord. I feel the presence of God so strong because He is mighty, He is glorious, He is a young that I am. Oh, Lebra, Kaye Lebo, Sukete, and the day. Kaso, ye Lebron, the Keton, the Labra, Sakaten, the Le, Ketsun, the Le, the Bron, Suken, the Debra. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Elio. Thank you, Adonai. We worship you. We adore you. We give you all the praise, all the honor, all the adoration. Unto you, Jesus. Hale, Branda, Kaso, Katen, the Debra. He can de le brando koton de le brace and de kete. Kaso and de la brenda katon jaga he kete. He can brown de keton de le brosu ketan de le de. Kosika ya la brando koton de le broca yele. Ho re brosi and de kata who is on to us. He's stronger. Oh, we arise in your power, O Lord. We arise in your glory, O Lord. Forever your word is certain in our life. Hey, le bros, yanda katan de lebere. We pull the whole armor of God. Hey, le bron de katan de ye le bros, yanda kete. He bring the katan yakara shakatan de lebere. 
la bronte kite oh father we praise you jesus we honor you lord we give you all the praise all the adoration jesus here come the la bronte ke son the presence of god is so strong is so strong is so strong le bre ka sa ka yele de he ke son de le de bronte ke te receive the fire receive the touch of the almighty father receive the fire receive the fire of the holy ghost receive the fire receive the fire the way i'm feeling it right now by the power in the name of jesus hele bron de ke boss ti anda la kata hele kan su ye le breketen de le bron su ke ye le he can de le bron go ko ton de le bron su ke ye le de let your voice rise high and reach the throne room of heaven he can ye le bron sheketen he le de de bron ko sun de 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 the fire that can never be quenched again let it fall on you right now by the power in the name of jesus Yes Lord he can dia la brosi anda kata receive it receive the fire of the holy ghost 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 by the power in the name of Jesus ho la branda ka so ka san de 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 he can dia la brosi anda kata de 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 Catching the leather bros and that you know for you know fear you walk according to the purpose of God in your life into his glory by the power in the name of Jesus every spirit of setback i cast it out by the power in the name of Jesus receive the touch of the almighty father in the mighty name of Jesus the fire of God the fire the fire i feel this presence the fire so strong this morning by the power in the name of jesus he ke swa ka yele bros yan de kete li bron de kete on de le bros yan de kete de 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 ke su ka yele bros yan de la kata de le de he ke de de bron de kete on de let you for the spirit of god Let's yield to him to praise him. Let's yield to the spirit of God to adore him. Let's yield to the spirit of God to be on fire for him. Let's give him all the praise, all the honor. Let's separate ourselves from every iniquity. Hele roka sukatan de lebron de kete. Oh yes Lord. Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. Oh all the praise, all the honor. All the adoration to you Jesus. You are victorious in your holiness. You are great oh Lord. You are powerful. I am that I am. We worship you this morning. We adore you. All the praise, all the adoration. Father deliver us from every iniquity. Our hearts rejoice in you. We are glad when they said unto us, let us come to the place of worship. Let us go to the house of the Lord. We are glad to be in the fellowship with you this morning. Oh, the bros katan de lebren de kete. You are fortress. You are deliverer. We are you you are our hope. You preserve us. Keep us in the path. Le bros katan de 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 de. Continue to keep us in the path of righteousness. Oh Lord. For your wonder working power working in our midst. We return our praise to you. We return your worship. We return our worship. We return your worship back to you, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Worship him. Adore him. Give him all the praise, oh Lord. We give you all the honor, oh Lord. Thank you for reviving us once again. Thank you for renew our strength in you once again. Thank you Lord, thank you Holy Spirit. The I am that I am. We worship you. We will continue to magnify your name upon all the earth. Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. Hele brosi akatan dede. I can feel a heavy rain. A heavy rain, a heavy rain. A heavy rain the cleaning else. A heavy rain, a, a heavy rain from heaven. 
His cleanliness is saturating us right now by the power in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus, for your power that is working in our midst. Thank you, Lord. You can't yell at Rossi and the Kate. Oh, the Brown, the Kate, Yalakos, so Katan, the Lebron, the Yakata. Yakos, so Katate, Hebrez, the Andele. Oh. Shake it in 
Yes, you are great, great are you, Lord. Mother Jesus, we worship you. Mother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wave your hands to him. Praise him. We worship him. We adore him. Wave your hands. Wave your hands. Wave your hands. Wave your hands to him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. We magnify you. We adore you. All the praise. All the praise belongs to him. Oh, Master Jesus, we praise him, we magnify Yam that I am, the omnipotent, omnipresent, who is on today, who is like him, he is a Yam that I am, there is no one like him, our Father, we magnify you, we adore you, you alone deserve our praise, you alone deserve our worship, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God bless everyone for joining. I welcome you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 We gather here once again to fellowship together with the Lord. Hallelujah. That was a powerful moment spent together before his throne. This is how he always wants his children to praise him, to magnify him. Hallelujah. As I was worshiping, the Spirit of God took over. The Spirit of God took over. I saw someone that you are having chest pain. You have air in your lungs. You have air in your lungs. I saw God, uh, Holy Spirit revealed the two lungs to me. And I saw angels operating on your lungs. The angels are operating in your lungs. What the enemy planned is avail. It will not come to pass. We cancel every spirit of sickness. God has already taken over. He has already taken over. Hallelujah. So I decree over your life. May you receive healing. Healing from the above by the power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you all for joining. God bless you, man of God, angel. God bless you, destiny. God bless you, wind praise for joining. God bless you. Rosaline, God bless everyone for joining. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you all. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. And this morning I wake up, God gave me a message, a message to uh, come and share, share with us, share with you, a message that is going to come from the throne of God. Uh, I myself rejoice. I step aside as a flesh. Let the Spirit of God take over. Let Him take over. Let him take over everything that will proceed from my mouth. It will only come from the throne of God. Let all the flesh burn to ashes. Let the ashes, the ashes, ashes, ashes become the power of God. Let the ashes of rejoice become the power of God that will speak the mind of God. Hallelujah. By the power in the name of Jesus. We cannot do it by through the flesh, we cannot not do it by ourselves, but the Spirit of God that said so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I decide to come on uh, this morning because, <laughs> how is it? okay, first of all, how is everyone doing? Because as I was talking, the Spirit of God, I can still feel the presence of God so strong. So I was just trying to come out from that <laughs> zone, then I can be on myself and talk. <laughs> Hallelujah. How is everyone doing? How is everyone doing? Praise the Lord. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How are you? How are you doing? This worship this morning, like, invoke something in me. You know, uh, the more you spend time with God, the more you can feel His presence in your life these few days i wasn't feeling too well so um i've been i try my best to study the word of god to pray but it wasn't like ever it wasn't like before it wasn't like before so um i keep on praying 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 to the glory of god hallelujah today <laughs> i thank god for the sisters we have in the lord you know when one fall one have to lift another we thank god i thank god for the life of woman of god angel for the life of woman of god agatha and everyone when I open my mouth and say, I'm not feeling, oh, let me pray for you. And their prayers are well, like, it works. It works. And today, I'm back to my feet, bouncing like never before. Hallelujah. So you can see from the start, the presence of God came so strong. We pray. We worship him. We adore him. We give him all the praise, all the honor, all the adorations, always in our life, always, he's always there for his children. He's always, always, always there. So we'll continue to lift his name higher above every other name. Hallelujah. So I decided to come this morning instead of evening because uh, my children went to school. I don't want them to interrupt. <laughs> you know, they will come back your homework and as a mother you have to attend to them in the kitchen and all those things sorry just a moment my house phone is i have to disconnect it Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So as a mother, as I was saying, as a mother, 
you have to be there do your house duty <laughs> attend to the family hallelujah so i decide to come this morning and share the message god has given me the title of the message just bear with me a second let me just change this uh, instrumental to another that will keep long hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord so uh the, 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 the this message holy spirit gave me it's about seek god we should seek god in everything that we do because we are made by god we are made he made us god made us in his own image so he's everything he's everything that we have he's our father god is our mother <laughs> he's our sister everything so uh we cannot do we cannot do things in our own ways we always have to seek him in every area of our life we have to seek him take him as first in our life god is the first priority we have to see him as one the first priority of everything we have to start our day by seeking god when you see god by starting your day with him, you acknowledge him that yes, it's just like when we were children, we were growing. Everything that we do, every, every step of your ways, you first have to ask your parents, oh father, oh mother, I'm going to the roadside. Oh mommy, uh, can I have this? Or your mother will tell you yes or no. Either you are allowed to have it or no. If it's yes, you'll be happy. If it's no, you may not be happy. Why she or he refuse you not to have it? And the reason, like my children, if they ask me, I will use myself. I always use myself as an example. If my children ask me something, and when, especially, uh, the boy, <laughs> Sanam, his name is Sanam. When Sanam come and ask me something, and when I say yes, you can have it, he will be so happy, happy, jumping and walk out. And the day that he requested something from me and I said no, you see him, he will be very grumpy, like he will not like it, the idea, you will not like the idea of me saying no to him. And I call him back, I call him back and explain turns to him the reason why you cannot have it because it's a type that want to know the reason why you said no so i always sit him down and tell him that okay the reason why you cannot go out with your friend is because maybe it's rainy because i don't want you to be going out too much and you start involving like <laughs> you start forming gang <laughs> you start forming gang you know that's how it started i'm going to hang out with my friends i'm going to hang out with my friends and i always explain to him why you cannot go hang out with your friends because the outcome going to hang out with your friend the outcome always turn out bad 
so first when i always tell him that he's uh, he's not happy with it he's always starts with grumpy face and all those but now he begin to understand it so the same way when we seek god in every minute every hour every day we god able to show it his secret agendas during the day that's why we speak into the atmosphere when god gives you his words like you need something from him at times he will not just tell you at times he'll tell you yes have it and within a, sh a short time you see the manifestation maybe you are believing god for healing or you are believing god for a fruit of the womb or you are believing god for miracle money financial breakthrough you can see some people as they speak that word to the atmosphere the manifestation of god purpose come immediately that means it is the right time that they ask and god approve it for them and god approve it for them and at times too, the manifestation doesn't take place. That doesn't mean that he did not hear your prayer request. When you speak, when you say it, when you pray, he, he always hears us. He is very close to us. The angels that he assigned for us always there interceding on the behalf of his children. So everything that proceeds from your mouth, proceeds from your... Uh, God knows about it. Maybe it's not the right time. That's why. Not even maybe. Most of the time, it's not the right time for the manifestation to take place in a, a specific time, hour or day or month or years. He has his reason. He has, God always have a reason for us because he loves us so much. That's why it's very important that we have to seek God first in everything. Many people take their own path and the distraction that comes, it, it backfires so hard to them. When you take your own path, the distraction hits so hard that the turning back always leaves a mark. God is a merciful father. He's a loving father. He will deliver you from the trap of the enemy. He will have mercy for you, for you to stand again. But the mark... It's always going to be there that you remember that you remember all the time. And who will suffer most is you. It's us that suffer it most. So that's why we have to seek God in everything that we do. At times, many of times, God speaks to us through our hearts, through our mind. Throughout the, or at times in the close people that are around us, God, God speak his mind through them, through ourselves as well. But because the mind of God doesn't favor us, we ignore his mind, thinking that how can I take that path? That path does not favor me. This is not how I want my life to be. I want my life to be this way. So I cannot. But God knows why he's not allowing that path that he's, he's not allowing to open. Like a door, there's a specific door that needs to open for you. And you are expecting it that that door, <laughs> Father, you said that that door is going to open for me. So I'm waiting patiently. And your patient is running out and you started getting angry. Father, you said this. You said that. Why is not taking place? Why is not happening? It's because something just crossed. Something just crossed. And he's saying that 
if I open this door now and my daughter, my son, enter there, the end will not be well. Let me wait. I will wait until the right time, until the right hour. You will get there. I will open the door. At that time, you are, you are there grumpy. Father, why? Like my son always do. When you don't allow him to have his way, you say, I need to do it. I need to go out. And God said that it's not, the outside there is not safe for you. The outside there is not safe for you. So you just wait. When is the right time? I will let you out. At times too, I will take another example. You are seeking God for a change of a job or a job. When you have a job, are you not going to be going out and be working? Yes, working is good. I'm working as well. Many people work. It's good. But you that you are not working at this moment here, you are believing God to give you a job of your dream or a job, something just be bringing income to you. And you are asking questions. It could be God did not open that specific door for you to go out because it's not safe for you out there for now. Because his words, think of it, his words say that he knows that in our mind, before we open our mouth, or what, he knows. He knows. He knows what is in our heart, what is in our mind. So he knows what we are going through. So before you even open your mouth to say something, he's aware of it. So that's what I'm saying. It could be it's not safe for you out there yet for you to step out. So he'll keep you inside and be preparing you. As you are waiting inside, you are seeking him. You are steady. You are dipping yourself deep into his words. Praying. Fellowshipping with him. Then when he now know that, okay, now you are ready to go out. Then he release you. He release you. The way is clear now. The outside there is safe now. You can go. You can go. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So that's why for you to know all those things, when you spend time with him, he reveals more to you. When you spend time with him, he will reveal more to you. Hallelujah. And uh, we have to be heavily, uh, heavily minded, heavily conscious, and everything have to focus on him first. When we put our mind on him, he knows that we care so much for him, the way he cares for us. Then every other thing will be added to it for us. Just like a book of Matthew says 33. Seek ye the first the kingdom of God, and every other thing will be added to it for you. Seek the kingdom, seek the terms of the kingdom of God first. And he will look at your own side after. But if you are seeking the things of you, yourself first, he will let you go. Go and do whatever that you want to do. You are on your own. And that will not be our portions in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we being blessed? When we look at a, a book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 1 to 4, it says, Therefore, since you have been raised with Christ, string for the things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God, set your minds on that above, not on earthly things, for you died and your life is now hidden, hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. We have been raised with God. 
we are like he he made us in his own image his own the way he is we because when christ died we died with him when he rose we rose with him so everything that you are having today is life because we are sitting in the right hand of the Father. We are seated in the right hand of the Father, like Christ. For you are die, for you are dead, and your life is now hidden with Christ. Our life is hidden in Him. If He has assured us in the book of Colossians 3. That our life is hidden in Christ. What else can we be afraid of? We cannot be afraid of every, anything. Just focus your mind on him. As a book of Matthew was saying, But seek ye the first, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all th these things shall be added to it. All that we want to do is, Father, help us. We seek for your righteousness. We don't want to go back to that old ways. Help us, O oh Lord. That's what we seek for. You can, uh, you can see some people, when they are in the world, they think that their life is so broad. Everything that they want to do, they can do it. But now that they receive Christ as their Lord and their personal Savior, it's not seems the way they are thinking of it. But this life that you have chose to follow Christ to internal glory, though it may be narrow where you, where you, how you are feeling it now, but the end always brings His glory. The end always brings freedom. You might be suffering today, but the end always brings joy and laughter. We fast. We pray. We fast. We read our Bible. Even though it's not convenient for us, we squeeze our time to just be in the presence of God. We fast and, I mean, make our body suffer when you are fasting you see the food like we that we have family you are fasting but you still have to cook for your family the food is there nice you cannot eat it yourself because you put God first you are seeking the right God righteousness you are kingdom minded you let your body, your flesh die. Praise the Lord. You let the flesh die because you seek the God righteousness. You are seeking his face. You want more of him. You want his power. If you don't have the power of God, you cannot stand. On the trials and the temptations of this earth, of this world. You need the power of God to survive. That's why I was preaching the last time I said that the anointing breaks the yoke. The anointing of God that is in you, that breaking every yoke, that making you to be alive today. Praise the Lord. Without him, some of us could have been dead long ago and even be forgotten because of the anointing upon our life, the glory of God upon our life, fighting every yoke that the Satan has placed in our life. We seek the God righteousness, seek him every day, seek him every area of your life. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you. He's our creator. Father God is our creator. He's our redeemer. He's our Elion. He's our Adonai. We praise him. We magnify him.
we adore him. All the suffering that you are suffering today, the end is glorious. The end is mighty. The end bring all the end always brings light. Many of times we always say that we are lost. We don't know where we are. We don't know what to do. We are confused. But because of the light of God in us, that show us, always show in different parts of our life that make help us to move forward. God position in our life make us to be alive today so nothing to scare you out you have the anointing you have the power to break every chain you have the power you have the anointing to break every chain the chains of afflictions are from the enemy as the Bible says in the book of Psalms 34 verse 19, many the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them all. It's the Lord that delivers from everything. That's why he says he is the light of the world. We carry that light. We are hidden in him. We are hidden in Christ. He died. We died with him. He rose. We rose with him. He's sitting in the right hand of the Father. In the book of Colossians, that we say, we are also sitting at the right hand of the Father because we have been hiding inside him. Therefore, no power no affliction from the enemy can limit you, can stop you by the power in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Seek God first and his righteousness and you can know all those truths. When you seek him, the truth always reveals Seek the, the righteousness of God. And you see the light, the love of God. Praise the Lord. God is our creator. He's our deliverer. He's our maker. He's our savior. He's our cornerstone. He is the grace that we seek. Seeking God must be our first priority. Let's seek God, but not a man. Seeking God have always been, must always be our first priority. When you come to rejoice in ministry, don't think about coming to watch me. Father, I'm seeking you. I know you have a word for me over here. When I listen to it, I'll find direction. I'll find peace. I'll find hope. Seek ye the first. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And every other terms will be added to it for you. And when you have that heavenly minded, that you are not coming here to watch me, you are just coming here to hear the mind of God. As you focus your mind on Him, as you are thinking about heaven, Jesus, God, you are seeing Him first in everything that I'm doing here. He said, everything will be added to it for you. Everything like increase, 
favor, breakthrough, because you see Jesus. He have the warehouse of everything, not a man. It's God that have warehouse of every part of the body. Our destiny is in the hand of God. If we put our focus on him, that he have everything but not a man, you think of him, he will release whatever he has for us. The way you are asking, I'm, I'm also asking the same thing, the same way. Father, increase your power in me. Increase your favor in, in me. Give me the grace. Set me free. Do the same way. I was sharing the last time that we are all created in God's image. We are all created in God's image. Therefore, Him alone we will worship. Him alone we will seek. We will put our hope and our mind in Him so He can help us. Praise the Lord. We desire the things of the kingdom. Let's focus our mind to desire things from the kingdom of God. But we don't do that. We think we can do things within our power. And God will tell you that sit there. Sit there to... Hmm. When it's my own time to help you, I will help you. We always have to remember to seek the terms of the kingdom first. Just release your mind. Let yourself be. Just allow him to do the things that he wants to do. But we humans, our desire is to just to think of Athlete gains. Athlete gains. Athlete gains things that are not from God. All that we want to think about. We, me, I, me, me. All the time. What about God? What about Christ? Our being here on earth is to represent God, not ourselves. We have to represent God in everything that we do. Not thinking about earthly things. I want to acquire this house. I want to acquire this car. I want to reach here. I want to travel from different... From beginning of 2020, a lot have happened. A lot is still happening. Like this country of Ireland that I am in. The country is going... <laughs> it's been... Lockdown again. We are still in stage three. They are saying that they want the country to. God bless you, one of God, Agatha, for joining. Hallelujah. A powerful one of God. God bless you, Margaret, also for joining. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many have been planned. Many people planned their holiday for this 2020. That you cannot <laughs> imagine. But our ways are not God's ways. Many people pay for their tickets, thousands of euros to travel. They, they well plan their ways very nicely well. If you hear it, you say, yes, beautiful, I wish. But is that the way of God? Did they seek God first? Did you seek God first before taking that action? I was saying from the start, you take your own path. You go and come back. God is a merciful father. He is a merciful God. He will still receive you as a daughter. He will still receive you as a son. But the, the mark, the consequences, you are the one that going to face it. 
you will face the consequences. Many of them lost their money, lost thousands of euros. The air, the 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 air tickets, the hotels, so many things. Some of them have been refound, but some of them cannot be refound. It depends on the type of the ticket that you buy before it can be refound. It's your way, please God. Do you see God before you do anything? Seek Him. Seek ye the terms of the kingdom and His righteousness. And He will give you His mind. Either you should take it or leave it. The ways of God. His ways are not our ways. The ways of God is always perfect. We always desire for earthly things. I'm traveling this, this time of the year. I'm doing this. Many people take their own ways. They did not come back. They travel on, they take their own journey, they did not come back. That was the end. And it will be painful if that person is not even repented. That is the end of the life. Praise the Lord. Money is lost. The desire of the earthly things is gone, it's lost. But they still not recognize it that, no, I need to turn to God and ask him to have his ways in my life. Praise the Lord. Our desires to look to earthly things instead of heavenly things come from them. You know, it just, it just fly like that. We have to be heavily minded and forget about earthly things. Forget about earthly things. Set your mind on the things of God. Hallelujah. That's how I was saying that the book of uh, Matthew 6 33. But seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Every other tense will be added to it for you. God is a jealous God. He always wants us to serve him only. He is a jealous God. He will not like you to put your mind on the things that are not pleasing him. He wants you all for himself. Matthew 10 a book of uh, Matthew, a book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 20, uh, 38 to 39 say, And anyone who does not take up his cross, follow me, is not worthy of me. Whatever found his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. When you choose to follow Christ, you have to focus your mind on him and let him know that, Father, I surrender all to you. As you seek his righteousness and he tell you that that journey you want to take, I don't like it. Don't take it. You think that, no, I really want it. I really want to go, Father. He said, no, you have to obey because to save God, the most important thing, you have to obey the, uh, uh, the commandment of God. Obedience. Obedience always brings a blessing to our life. When you obey, he always directed in the path of righteousness. He said, take your cross and follow me. As the day that you make that decision, that father... I give you all that I have. That means you are ready to obey everything that he said. By seeking him. Getting direction from him. Take your cross and follow him. He 
say, whoever find his love, his life more important than Christ, he will lose it. If you think your life is more important than any other thing, or maybe what God is saying, say you will lose it. But if you put God's righteousness before you and you obey him, do things according to the will of God. You will find and you will have internal life. You will find God love when you lose your flesh. When we lose our flesh, we will see that we will find internal glory, internal love, peace, hope, in which the world that the world cannot give you. The world cannot give you God's glory, God's peace, God's righteousness. The world cannot give you. The world that we live in is so wicked. All that we want is our personal gain. Personal gain. I want this. I want that. I want that. Even when God bless you, you still forsake the one that need it, the needless. You still forsake them. And you've forgotten that. You leave it all the things that you acquire, that personal gain you acquire, I want this, I want this title, I want that, I want this, I want that. You still leave it behind and go. And ask yourself, did I see God before acquiring all these things? You see, he who find his life will lose it. But he who that give his life for me will find me. When you put your life before God, that I can do it. I know many people always boast, I can do this, I can do that. Yes, that. Eh? No. He said, you will lose God. The Bible says in the book of Matthew 10, 38. He says, when you find your Lord, when you find yourself before me, you will lose it. But he who that give his life for me will find me, says the Lord. Let's seek God. And seek his righteousness in everything that we do. Let's seek him. Praise the Lord. The kingdom of God. God has everything in stock for us. I, I, I just came across something recently that God opened my eyes to see. The more you run from God, thinking that you can acquire, you can do things, the more marked time that you will be having. You will be stuck. You will be in the middle. You cannot move forward. You cannot move back. Many of us, we always get scared to give everything to God, to surrender all to God. And we realize that our life is meaningless. But when you give everything to God and focus on Him, you see that He will give you more. The more you seek Him, the more things that He will reveal to you, the more things He will be releasing to you as well. Before I started preaching on Facebook, I always, God, God promised me so many things. You will be great. I've given you powers. You will be that. You will be that. So at that time, I think, yes, I'll be anointed. 
as the Linus group always call me Mama Rainbow. Because God promised that he has given me so much gifts. God gave me so much gifts. That's why, you know, in the realm of the spirit, I show like Rainbow. The, the angel of Rainbow have been released to me. So many gifts. But I'm not proud of it. I'm not the one. He is the one that gave it to me. So I thought I have it all, but not knowing, no. There is still more to it when you seek God more. And I realized that when I started pray, uh, preaching on Facebook, the things God started showing to me is even more than that time. I, uh, that time I thought I have a lot. I did not even reach anywhere. I did not even half quarter, even inch. I did not read it. It's not that I realized that he's even because there was a time that I had a dream. He was telling me that he will show me the mystery of the kingdom. Just recently, about three weeks ago, he told me this in my dream. He said, I will show you the mystery of the kingdom. I said, wow. So that means there's more to it. There's more to this. The more you spend time with him, the more you study the word of God, the more you, you, you humble yourself before the throne of God, the more things that he will reveal to you. You see, humble yourself before me. I will show you the secret things of the kingdom. Ever since I say, Father, mold me break me anywhere i am proud pull me down i want to be in the level of jesus feet even i'm not even worthy to kiss his feet use me as you please i'm not even worthy to kiss his feet i'm just your daughter i'm nobody I'm ashes. The ashes that you made me to be. But let, that, let your power still work in that ashes. And set people free. Use me to represent your kingdom well. I was going through my notes this morning. Maybe he wants me to talk about this. You know, there are so many things that God will reveal to you. You are not allowed to say it out until he releases you to say it out. So I was going through my notes about, you know, I mostly, many of times I spend quiet time with God. So the, the, the more I spend more uh, quiet, quiet time, I think he can ask me to spend a day quiet time with him. Nothing, no distraction. Or most of the time, it's three days that he's always gave me to spend quiet time with him. So one of the days that I spent three days quiet time with him, he revealed so many things to me. I was going through my notes. I was going through my notes. Then I saw one of the the, the things that he showed me because I mostly write it down. See, humble yourself before me and I will make you great. Those are one of the words that he gave me. Humble yourself with me then I will make you great. That is, you cannot have a little then I'll start shouting, yay, I have arrived. Arrived where? Is it my power? Is it my grace? Is it my anointing? The one that gave me, I have to acknowledge him. I have to seek him. Always. Am I allowed to go on life, Father? When he say yes, I will go. When he say no, <laughs> I will stay even if it's... <laughs> Yes, or never again. The most important thing is to seek him 
and obey him. That's all that matters to me. Many of times, there are some things that come, I come across when he said no, yet yeah, he's, <laughs> he's my father. I have to obey. When he says sit, you have to sit. When he says stand, you have to stand. Because if you want to take a personal glory and do things on your own, you'll be on your own. You'll be on your own and he'll tell you that I do not know you. And that will not be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Matthew chapter 13 verse 44 to 46 says, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in the field, which a man found and covered up. Then in his joy, he goes and seals all that he has and, and buys that field. Praise the Lord. Again, he, again, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven is like a matchet in a search of fine pearls. Who on the finding one pearl of a great value went and sold all his hand and okay let me read this in another translation for us to matthew 13 44 praise the lord talking about kingdom of god is a treasure hidden hmm. the why it's only the wise men that can find it if you are not wise <laughs> uh, you think that you are living the best life by the time you realize you are lost you lost everything. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in the field. When a man finds it, he hides it again. I'm reading the NIV version. He hides it again. And then in his joy, in his joy went and sold all he had. And bought that field. This is saying, when you find the love, the tools of the kingdom, it's a treasure. You have to let everything go, release everything, and hold it, and don't let it go. When the man find it, he hide it. It's Hide it, hide the kingdom of God in your heart. Put it, always remember that. I have the treasure which is God in my heart. When you have, when it's in your heart, you always remember and be focusing in heaven. But if you have it, you treat it as if it's nothing. Ah, all this word of say repent, the kingdom of God is at hand. <laughs> heaven is real hell is real so uh, when you die you have to make it to heaven if not you make it to hell this and that we've heard all these stories uh, story story uh, story story okay it says see it's like a treasure when you focus your mind and doing things according to the will of God, it's a treasure in which you are building in heaven. Because all the efforts that you put in that before you end that treasure, when you remember your sufferings, you will not <laughs> forget it. That's why we are here in the first and take your Christ was saying, take your cross and follow me. The broad way has so many turns. You enjoy, you do this, you do that. But would it lead you to heaven where your treasure? You have to build your treasure on this earth now, then it will reflect in heaven. By seeking God and doing things according to his will. Not your will, not thinking about personal gains only. Personal gains will only lead you to distractions by heavily minded 
will help you to build a treasure in heaven and in your hearts. You know that all the suffering, all this fasting I'm doing, starving myself, killing my flesh, is not in vain. Look at it this way. When the builders build them, look at how dirty they become. Some of them, they get hurt. Some of them, they get killed when they are building a beautiful house. Some of them, so many things happen to them. But at the end of the building, you see how the building become beautiful. That we see today and say, oh, this, this house is beautiful. This thing is that. The life you are living today, Christ-like life, is a treasure. Where you, where you are coming from and where you have reached, don't let the enemy steal it, steal all the joy that you've planted, which is a treasure you built in heaven. Don't let it go on the waste. Carry on. Take the cross and follow Jesus Christ to the eternity. Your treasure has been built in heaven. And as you allow it to sink into your heart, you will always remember heaven. And when things of the flesh, things of the world is coming to your mind, because of all the suffering that you suffer with Christ, you die with him, you rose with him, you always remember that. And you remember to live right before God and men. But again, remember to write it in your tablet of your heart. When it's in the tablet of your heart, you always remember God. Praise the Lord. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in the field. Find that treasure today. Find the treasure of heaven by seeking God. Praise the Lord. Build your love and faith on God only. And stop focusing your mind on I am that I am. The I am that I am will not lead you anywhere. But if you are kingdom minded, say every other things will be added to it for you. Build your love, your faith in God. Matthew 22, 37 to 40 said, And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. And, and a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. So, on those two commandments depend on all the Lord and the prophets. The last time I was talking about the love of God. God loves us so much that he sent his only son to die for remission of our sins. He died on the cross so that we can find love. We can find peace. We can find restoration. We can find breakthrough. We find it. Why are you still scared? You die on the cross with him. He rose. You rose with him. Why are you being feared? That Bible verse is saying, saying that you should love the Lord your God. That's the first commandment. The first one is love God. The second one is love your never as yourself and the last I was saying that if you love God when he asks you to do something you will do it when you don't love him you will not obey him 
You will not follow his commandment. You will just think that the God that I'm not even seeing. Who said that God exists? God exists. The power of God is working in the life of his children. Always. Because this morning alone, I've seen the manifestation of God's glory. I'm talking about, I've seen the manifestation of God's glory. He said, love God yourself. Love God first and love your neighbor as yourself. The kingdom of God is a treasure. And he even make it plain for you that this is the place that I've been preparing for my children. When you live right, you sit in the same place with me. But if you live wrong, the place that I've prepared for that thief, Satan, you will end up there with him. But that's not the mind of God towards his children. Wherever he is, he is he's always want his children to be in the same place. God loves us so much. That's why the things that he can do for, where, for us to see the internal glory with him, to sit in the same place with him, he has to send someone that he cherish, that he loves so much, to calm down, to go through pain, to go through anguish, to die, because death is a final stage of human life. Death is the final stage of the flesh. Christ came and laid down his life for you to see the victory, to see life, to be clean, to be cleansed. Before you can sit in the heavenly place with Father, you have to be pure because God is pure. He is clean. There is no death in his eyes. His light. You see, wherever light is, there is no darkness. So he wants me and you to be the same like him. That's why Jesus came. For us to be like that light that can never be covered. We have to obey that Christ loves us, God loves us. And the same love that he loves us, he, has, he also wants us to return the same love to the people around us, to the community, to the nations. If the love of God, if the love that God gave us, if we can share that love with others, this earth will be so peaceful, so sweet. But hatred have taken human hearts. Hatred have been killing us, have been separating us from the love of God. Hate, jealousy have been separating us. It's only love when we love God, we can see His righteousness. We can think of him. We can seek him. We can put him first before everything. Love him. Love yourself and love your neighbors as well. So you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart. He did not say half of your heart. He said love the Lord your God with all your heart. And with all your soul and with all your mind, love the Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is a great and first commandment. Love, 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 love. He loves us so much. He also wants us to return the same love to him by seeking him first. 
putting him first in every other thing because he's a jealous God. He's always very close to us. God is always very close to us. He's always very close to his children. When your ways please him, he's always there. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 22 says, And God put all things under Jesus' feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body. I'm reading the NIV. The fullness of him who fills all in all. Whatever you do, it is the will of God must still have to come first. We have to do things according to the internal glory of God, but not things of our own ways. Everything that we do, everything that we toll in under the uh, on the earth here is all put and under the feet of Christ. So that means that, that's why when you deviate from the ways of God and choose your own path, you still go and come back because you have the power, the authority over everything. Christ is the head of everything. Let's put our focus to God so he can help us. Someone write this. Let's put our focus on God so he can help us. I want everyone to type this. Let's put our focus on God so he can help us. Thank you, Jesus. Tell him, Father, help me to acknowledge you, to put you first, to put you first, to put you first. Help me, because at times you think that you can do it with your power. But you need the help of the Holy Spirit to guide you, to help you. The book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 17. And whatever you do in the world or did, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Colossians chapter 3 verse 17. God bless you all for typing. Let's put our focus on God so that he can help us. And whatever you do in the world or did, do everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, giving him thanks. Don't let pride take over. That is my greatest prayer. Father, don't let pride take over. Don't let pride take over. Whatever that I will do, help me to put my focus on you. Help me to be heavenly minded, not earthly minded. That will take me to distractions. Help me to be heavenly minded. God is a jealous God, according to Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. You shall have no other God before me. When you start thinking about other things, that means you are making those things God before, gods before our God, our creator. You shall have no other God before me. Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. Put God first in everything that you do. Let's put our trust and our hope in God. It's easier to stop worrying when you are absolutely trust God for provision. Romans 
When you trust God, you have faith in Him. You stop being worried. You absolutely trust God for provision. Provision of uh, wealth, provision of health, provision of direction, provision of everything because you trust Him. You put Him first. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Prophet chapter 3 verse 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and learn not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make you straight. Straight your path. He will make strength, uh, straight your path. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and learn not on your own ways. Mm. Or on your own understanding. Or I know it best. I know it all. I know that. I know that. No. Don't learn on your own understanding. Say so in all ways acknowledge him and he will make you straight your a pathway. That's what we are discussing. We are saying let's put God first. Let's acknowledge him. Let's trust him. Because wisdom only comes from above. Wisdom of men are foolish. But when you have wisdom from God, He will direct you. Your path will be straight before Him. Hallelujah. We are praying this morning, let all the flesh in us die. Let the Spirit of God take over. Father, every flesh in me that is fighting, let it die. Pray this prayer this morning. Every flesh in me that is dying, let it die this morning. We bring every flesh to the under the feet of Christ. Let every flesh come under the feet of Christ this morning in our life by the power in the name of Jesus. Pray this prayer. Every flesh that is fighting you, and Father, every flesh that is fighting me, let it come to the submission under the feet of Christ this morning. By the power in the name of Jesus. Lebron Every flesh that is fighting, let it come to the authority of the Almighty God. Let it come down. Let it come down in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every flesh die this morning. Let the power of God arise by the power in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. We have to acknowledge God. We have to seek Him. We have to praise Him. See Him everywhere. Put Him first. In your daily life, every single thing. If you avoid the Spirit of God, you avoid God. That is God. To reject the Holy, to reject the Word of God is to reject the Holy Spirit. When you embrace the Word of God, you embrace God, you embrace the Holy Spirit. But when you reject the Holy Spirit, when you reject the word of God, you have rejected the Holy Spirit. That's why when I wanted to, when I want to start this broadcast, I say, Father, let every fresh in me die. Let your spirit take over. Every word that will proceed from your, my mouth, let it come from the throne of God. Let the flesh die. Who will not reject the spirit of God. Everything that will proceed from my mouth. 
Let it from the throne of God. Every flesh that is fighting me, let it die by the power in the name of Jesus. Seek God first. Psalm 27 verse 4 One thing I have asked of the Lord that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. One thing we desire from the Lord that we seek him daily I'm summarizing now. One thing we desire from him, we seek him, we acknowledge him. That we will dwell in his house, we will dwell in his word. As I was saying, when we reject the word of God, we reject the spirit of God. This word is not from God. This, that, this, that. We are rejecting God. But that's not our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Christ in us is the hope of glory. We are hidden in Christ. We are under the authority of Christ. Whatever that we do, because the anointing, the grace he has given us. He has made you. He has have, he have made you to be whom you are today. You have the power, you have the authority to decree. See, whatever that we decree here is decree in heaven. Whatever we lose here is lose in heaven. That authority, that power has been given to you. Praise the Lord. Say, so one thing I have asked of the Lord that will I seek him every day. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. I'm summarizing. Let's dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let's seek his face forever. Let's acknowledge him. Let's seek him. Acknowledge him. Put him first in every of that sin. When we dip our life into the word of God, every other thing is bonus, breakthrough, salvation, deliverance. Come from there. Financial breakthrough. Come from the word of God. If I come here decree without base on the word of God, nothing will come, nothing good will come out from it. But because I, I take authority in Christ, I let my flesh die. I say, Spirit of God, speak through me. Come. As the word of God is coming, it's coming with power. It's coming with victory. It's coming with <laughs> favor. A lot of things are taking place. Every deliverance that take, take place, it comes from the word of God. The root of our deliverance lies in the debit of sick, the right ways to seek God. The root of our deliverance lies in the things of God. You seek right, seek right to seek God first. Seek God. Seek God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that comes to the end of today's message. God bless everyone for sitting in one place. And we acknowledge him, we praise him, we magnify him. He alone are worthy of our praise. He deserves our worship. We will seek, we pray that we, he should empower us to seek him first. We'll seek him first, we'll seek him first. We will let the flesh die. Always we should allow the flesh die. Let the spirit of God overtake us. So that we will not be doing things in the flesh, but through the Spirit of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay. So, um, 
Are we being blessed? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How is everyone? I'm just looking for one worship. That was powerful. Praise the Lord. We glorify your name in all the earth. Hallelujah. Are we blessed? He, has, he matters in our life. Descending in our midst and speak to us. We praise you. We will make you our first priority. Help us to make you our first priority. Let our flesh die. Let your spirit take over by the power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. For If you said your Holy Ghost, no one will come of me. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. No one wants to realize what are you are. I'm in for 
to you and I, Jesus. You are all the mountain. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, let every flesh die by the power in the name of Jesus. Let every desire of men, desire plans of men, die by the power in the name of Jesus. Father, let every desire of our flesh die this morning by the power in the name of Jesus. You alone deserve our praise, O oh Lord. Ye Lebron de Kesukatanda Labran de Kato, Ye Lebron Sukatanda. Let our desires die, O Lord. But I have to make us your priority. Make us to make you first. Make us first. Make us to seek you first in every area of our life by the power in the name of Jesus. Let the desires of the flesh die this morning. By the power in the name of Jesus. Let every desire of the flesh that is working against the will of God in our life die this morning by the power in the name of Jesus. Every plan of the flesh let it die by the power in the name of Jesus. We will seek you first in every area of our life by the power in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Let every flesh die in the mighty name of Jesus. I break every backbone of the enemy that is causing the, the flesh to walk against your will in our lives to die by the power in the name of Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus. We arise in your glory. We arise in your power. Let every flesh that war against you die this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let every throne of Satan be dethroned this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hele Rossi and Dakata. Lee Brand Dakaton, Hele Rossi. Hele de Ro. Hele Bron, the Alacaso, Hele Bron, the Akos. Hele Bron, Hele. Jesus. Every strong man in our life, causing the flesh to war against the will of God. Let them die this morning by the power in the name of Jesus. Only the will of God will prevail. Let the will of God prevail in the life of the children of God by the power in the name of Jesus. You are all the mothers. You are all the mothers. I'm a group of two. You are not Jesus. You are all the mothers. You are all the mothers. Hey, oh, you are all the mothers. I'm just hearing this word for someone. Is it? You are the light. You are the light of the world. And let every throne of the flesh be dethroned in your life by the power in the name of Jesus. Let the will of God come to pass in your life. Yes, Lord. Let the hand of God be the fire upon us. Let the hand of God be the fire upon our life this morning. Let the hand of God be the fire upon our life to be upon your life this morning by the power in the name of Jesus. Let every agenda of the enemy be canceled by the power in the name of Jesus. Every agenda of the enemy in your life, let it be canceled. We set the fire of the Holy Ghost in the camp of our enemy this morning. By the power in the name of Jesus, every unto gospel spirit working in the life of the children of God, be cancer, be dethroned in the mighty name of Jesus. Every ungospel spirit working in the life of our children, be dethroned, be cancer, 
be set on fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the hand of God of fire be upon us. Oh, Lebranda Casole. Holy Ghost. You are all the man. Sing it from your heart now. Oh, 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 oh. You are all. You are all the man. The spirit of God is so strong. Oh, oh, oh. You are all the man. You are all. You are all. You are all. Shake it, shake it. You go see and the You are the one that is 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 the Hey, the boss, the other lacata, and the boss, the yellow, and the Jesus. Oh, all the man, the Lord, you are all the masters. I plead the blood of Jesus over you. I soak you in the blood of Jesus. No powers. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against you is condemned by the power in the name of Jesus. Take authority in Christ. Take authority in the blood of Jesus. And move forward and stand. And I told yourself that let every flesh that is warring against the will of God in my life die by the power in the name of Jesus. He alone. Oh, Lebron, they get so cut under Lebron. Let the hand of God be the fire of on you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus over you. Blood of Jesus over you. Let the fire of God destroy every anti gospel spirit working against you for you not to move forward let the fire of god destroy them by the power in the name of jesus you will continue to find favor with god you increase in his name you are going to increase in his name by the power in the name of jesus let the peace of god reign in you 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 every ladder of bitterness every ladder of bitterness fall down from their ladder and die by the power in the name of jesus let the divine grace uphold you let the divine grace of god uphold you uphold you uphold you by the power in the name of jesus let the wisdom of God increase in you by the power in the name of Jesus. I release wisdom of God and knowledge to you. Begin to feel the presence of God right now. Begin to feel the presence of God right now. Begin to feel the presence of God. Right presence of God. Let his divine grace, divine knowledge, divine wisdom abide in you this morning. By the power in the name of Jesus. I see someone be renewed. Be clothed in a new garment. I yet see someone be renewed and be clothed in a new garment. Him alone deserves our worship. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We give him all the praise. We give him all the worship. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy One. We magnify him. We adore him. All the praise, all the adoration. Hallelujah. Let's raise our hands to Jesus and tell him we worship him. He alone are worthy of our praise.
thank you, Jesus, for the opportunity to fellowship together with you this morning. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, come to the end of today's program. I will just, as we normally do it, it's all end with praise. All end in praise. So I'm going to play Victory Belongs to Jesus. Victory Belongs to Jesus. All end in praise. Hallelujah. We dance. Then we go. Hallelujah. Victory belongs to Jesus. Father, we praise you. Hallelujah. All end with praise. Are we are we blessed? I'm blessed. I've learned so much. I've learned so much. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, and amen, and amen, and amen, and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All and in praise. We magnify him, we adore him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm just so happy, so happy that I came and share 
that came and shared uh, this powerful message i'll go back and watch it myself and if you are uh, you join late i urge you to go back and watch it the the, the message is uh, seek god first and there is so many hidden things in the kingdom of god when you seek him you reveal more to you all the prophets prophetized pastors that you seek them for advice or all that because they see god if you ask me today uh, rejoice what what is the mind of god towards my life i see god because the things don't come from my mind i see god and say holy spirit what are you saying concerning this name as i'm seeing god bless you nabila god bless you kulanza for joining as i'm seeing your name now say okay nabila <laughs> father what are you saying about her well the message will come it will drop into my my heart, my mind, every I hear it, then I tell you. So we should seek God. Seek God. Spend time with Him. He will reveal a lot of things to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So as the praise song was going on, I'm ending the video now in a few minutes. But as the video was going on, I just heard this Bible verse, Psalm 55, verse 22. That's a cast excuse me cast your burden on the lord and he shall sustain you he shall never permit the righteous to be moved this bible verse is for someone psalm 55 verse 22 it said cast your burden on the lord and he shall sustain you he shall never permit the righteous to be moved you choose the path of god and you seek him you say you are unshakable. You will not be moved. Hallelujah. 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 So this Bible verse is for someone. Hallelujah. So don't be scared. Every I cast out every... I'm hearing fear. There is fear in someone's heart. I cast out that spirit of fear in your heart right now by the power in the name of Jesus. You are victorious. You are more than conquerors. We overcame. You overcame it through the blood of the Lamb. You can do it. I'm hearing someone. Fear is taking over. God's telling me to tell you. You win that case. <laughs> Navila. I just use your name for example. God did not say it. <laughs> I just use your name for example. He said, he said so far, oh God, what is God saying about me? <laughs> Nothing for now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> I just use your name for example. <laughs> because it's your name that I saw on the screen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> They cast your burden, your care on him. <laughs> cast your care on him. He's able to do more than you can think of. Okay, there is some, there is a prayer. Uh, there is a comment says, Hallelujah, my husband has a, a court case that has been bothering us a lot oh okay so you are the one that's a confirmation god said that cast your care upon him he will take care of it i pray may you find favor mercy lane may you find favor with god and man i cancel every powers that will Try to take the place of God in your life. I rebuke that power by the power in the name of Jesus. Christ win in your life. May Christ win in your life. May Christ win in your life by the power in the name of Jesus. A hand of congratulations, mercy. Don't be, don't be, you know, I wanted to go, but that case came. God love you so much. He will favor you. He will favor you and your husband. Hallelujah. Jesus mighty name. Amen.
Amen. Amen. We find peace, love in Him. Peace and love in the in the Word of God. Praise the Lord. The promise of God ever stand. The promise of God ever stand. Nothing can change that because I'm just hearing a promise. Someone I'm just hear someone that is saying, I promise you is stand. The promise I gave you is stand. It will not change. That promise I gave you. I hear this word for someone. The promise I gave you is stand. It will not change. Nothing will change it. Nothing will change it. There is someone that um, he said, uh, I'm hearing this word. He said, those things I have written to you who believe in the name of the of Jesus that you may now know that you have eternal life and that you may continue to believe in the name of son of god believe believe that i will do it he said believe believe the son of god christ believe he said the promise it will never change you are heavy hearted like father when 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 i keep on hearing your word you say I should be patient. Yes, you say the promise will never change, though it will tarry, but it will surely come to pass. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Okay, God bless everyone for joining, for being here. Here, glutted on the chair, fellowshipping together in His presence. Here, come to the end of today's broadcast. And I pray, may God bless you and cause his face to shine on you and lift you higher and take you from victory to victory, from glory to glory by the power in the name of Jesus. I secure your life in Christ. Christ is the solid rock in which you stand on. And I rebuke every spirit of fear. I pray for you to have strength, divine strength, to wait patiently for your turn for divine restoration by the power in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the glory for your manifestation of breakthrough, salvation, restoration that took place here in Jesus' mighty name. We give you praise. We give you honor. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy One. Thank you, I am that I am. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. 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 God bless everyone. Shalom. Bye-bye.